Hello children, welcome to this week's lesson of the unforgiving servant. Did you enjoy our lesson about the two builders? It's not good building on sand, is it? We must always build on a strong foundation of love, faith and hope in God. This week it is a big happy birthday to Lucas. He's going to be nine years old. Our story today is about the lesson of the unforgiving servant. Here we go. Parable of the Unforgiving Servant Jesus was in Capernaum talking to his disciples of the Kingdom of God and he had just told the disciples the way in which we should settle problems we might have with each other and the way to forgive each other when Peter came to Jesus and asked, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother or sister who sins against me? Up to seven times? Jesus answered, Not seven times, but seventy times seven times. Then he told this parable. A king wanted to settle his accounts with his servants. One man who owed him 10,000 bags of gold was brought in. Since he was not able to repay his debts, the king ordered that he, along with his wife and children, had to be sold as slaves. The servant fell to his knees. Oh, my king, please be patient with me. He begged, I will repay everything. The king took pity on him, cancelled the debt and let him go. But on his way out, the servant saw a fellow servant who owed him hundred silver coins. He grabbed him by the neck and began to choke him. Pay back what you owe me, he demanded. The man fell to his knees and begged him, Oh, please be patient with me, and I will pay you back. The servant refused and had the man put in prison until he paid the debt. When the other servants saw what had happened, they were outraged and went and told the king what had happened. The king summoned the servant. You wicked servant, he said. I cancelled all your debt when you begged me to. Shouldn't you have shown the same mercy to your fellow servant? The king was angry and handed his servant over to the jailers to be punished until he paid back all he owed. This is how my heavenly father will treat each of you unless you forgive your brother or sister from your heart, said Jesus. Goodbye children, and I hope you enjoyed the lesson about how we should be forgiving like the king in our story and not like the wicked and unforgiving servant. Don't forget to download the activity and craft sheet. There's a maze and a crown you can cut out in colour and act up the story if you wish. Thank you for joining us today. Bye for now.